What's up? We're back with more Great Ace Attorney. Time to continue where we left off, I suppose. Nothing else for it. Laughing? I don't like to repeat myself, but honestly, I can't resist. These childish courtroom games and your half-baked arguments are all so puerile. Wh what do you mean? Don't worry, little schoolboy. You'll find out soon enough. What? You see, when you leave vital evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. No! I mean, you could just slip. You bit. Oh dear, how careless of me. I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. No. No! What is it? What's happening? It's the English woman. She just smashed that bottle. And in the Supreme Courtroom, what a terrible blunder. Officer, what are you waiting for? Collect up as much of the water from that broken bottle as possible, at once. You're wasting your time. This delightful carpet under my feet here was a gift from the British Empire. I assure you, it will soak up the water beautifully. You have neither the technology nor the presence of mind to recover it. <laughs> How could you? You... you won't get away with this. You can thump the bench and shout as much as you like, little boy. But I'm afraid we'll never know now, will we? If there really was poison in the bottle, or not. You. And let us not forget, we still have some very compelling ne compelling evidence left intact. Isn't that right, counsel for the prosecution? Oh, of, of course, of course. You're referring to this photographic print, I presume, dear lady. That's right, and really, looking at this photograph, it's as clear as day, isn't it? The poor professor was sitting with his back to me. So of course the only person who could have shot him from the front is the little schoolboy. Well, she is right about that. I didn't even think about that. Because obviously, he had to have been turned around at some point. Objection! No, you killed the victim that day, using Cure-Air. And then, in order to frame Ryunosuke Naruhoto for the crime... You waited until he picked up the pistol you'd arranged for him to find on the floor, before you shot the professor's dead body in the chest with your own hidden gun. Then, in the confusion that followed, all you had to do was turn the dead professor in his chair around. You see? You had every opportunity to commit this crime. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful imagination you have, young man. A hidden gun, you say? And I shot the professor's dead body, did I? Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you don't have a shred of evidence. Quick, do what Ryu s said, said like an episode or two ago. Lift up her skirt. That old teacher. We'll find the answer that way. And as you have nothing to support your wild claims, the prosecution stance remains unchanged. The victim, Dr. John H. Wilson, was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Delivered in cold blood by the, the accused, Ryanosuke Naruhodo. It's unbelievable. How can this be happening? We had her, but now she's really gonna get away with it. The way she destroyed that evidence was obscene. Ryanosuke. Yes? You've come this far, but now, now you're the only one who can finish it. What? What do you mean? You've lost a vital piece of evidence, it's true. 
So if there are any clues left for us to use now, they must be in your head. In my head? You told me before that your powers of observation were the one thing you could really depend on. Well, yes, that's true, but... I didn't manage to notice that this woman was a foreigner with a swan on her head. So think back again now. Try to remember every last detail about the scene that day. Everything you saw, everything you felt, every color, every smell. What I saw, what I felt. Every color. Sorry. Oh. Excuse me? Blood? Is Kazuma right? Somewhere in the vibrant memory of the same scene in my head. Could there be another clue to expose the identity of Dr. Wilson's killer? There's a clue. Actually, Kazuma, I think I might have something. Thinking back over everything I saw, I think I might have uncovered, an uncovered another clue. <laughs> oh, I'm die. Thank you forever. Sorry, I just started hacking. <laughs> you always have something up your sleeve, don't you, Rinosuke? Come on, then. Let's wipe the smug smile off that English woman's face with some evidence. All right, I can't wait. It's, it's been niggling me for a while that something feels amiss in my memories of the, that, that day. Whatever it is can be the key to arriving at the truth about all this. It's here somewhere, the clue that shows who Dr. Wilson's real killer must have been. Gee, I wonder. It's obviously the fork. Yes. Oh, that doesn't work. Shit. I don't know. I only have three health. I probably shouldn't mess around. Take that! Inspector Hosanaga, answer me this. Uh, yes. What is it? Uh, he's still miles away, probably thinking about that bottle being smashed. As you've said a number of times now, you strive for, for, for perfection in your investigations, don't you? Absolutely. I wonder, therefore, if perhaps you took anything else from the cr scene of the crime. Like, for instance, the plate of steak that you took to the victim's table that day. Do There was a bug on my keyboard. Attention! Wait a minute, where are you going? Where were you going with this little boy? Wow, you just stole his line after telling him to shut up. It's just a memory that's been troubling me. What memory? I saw the scene shown in this photograph print with my own eyes that day. And I saw that on the wooden base of the plate that the steak was served on was a spattering of blood. What? Oh, really? And what of it? Obviously, that must have happened when you shot the professor. No, that can't be the case. Take a good look at the photograph and the relative position of everything there. The plate of steak is almost directly behind the victim. If I'm supposed to have shot Dr. Wilson in the chest from the front, there's no way that blood from the victim could have ended up directly behind him. Ah! Hmm. Yes. The blood to have made it onto the plate and implies the plate was between the victim and the shooter. Which means the shooter must have been sitting opposite the professor, as you were. Giselle Brett. I beg your pardon? Attention! 
This, this is beyond ridiculous, fabricated nonsense. Is this court seriously expected to believe something the accusers apparently just remembered seeing? Hold it! Oh, that's a new line. I think. Wait, that was you? You have your own unique hold it? That, that came out of nowhere. This. This could be the moment that my entire career in the police force has been leading to. Well, that's the first time I've actually had a voice to go off of for him. I don't know if I should bother adjusting it or stick with what I've already gotten. Inspector, you mean... Yes, I took the plate. In the interest of preserving evidence from the scene of the crime. I took it, meat and all, and I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief because of it. You did what? I took the steak that you had been eating, Miss Brett. Sorry, heading on. I took the steak that the sergeant had been eating. And I did it all in the name of justice. What a legend. Then we can find out for sure whether or not there's a blood stain on Miss Brett's plate. We must examine it now. Well done. Inspector. The court wishes to examine the plate from the victim's table immediately. Yes, sir. Here it is. Yeah, get that lady out of here before she can destroy any more evidence. The wench. Sorry for the delay. Here is what you ordered. The steak. Well, what about the blood? Is there blood on it? Of course there isn't. Quickly, Inspector, the blood man. Show the court. Of course. Examine the plate at your leisure. Uh, nope. No, no blood. Wait, I'll cotton pick in minute. Is that the same steak? Look at the shape of it. It's about half the plate. It's got one bite mark there. It's got, okay, remember the shape of that. Oh, it's hard to tell. That doesn't look like the same steak. Well, yeah, but it has like the same bite marks, doesn't it? Hold up, I'm comparing still. Do, do, do. I mean, I guess it isn't a perfect replica. Uh, I can't tell. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, shoot. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That was on... Okay, that's on the right side, so it's at, least fa it's at least face on the right side. He said he took the sergeant's steak, though, so maybe this is that one instead? No blood anywhere. But... But... No, th that's... Impossible! I know I saw it. I'm sure of it. was right there on the table, behind the professor. There was blood on the side of the plate. Wait, the stake in that picture, though, that... How long was the plate? Because that looks more than half. <laughs> what an unbecoming expression, little boy. You see, this is why I always say you can't trust what the Japanese tell you. Ugh. Just, I couldn't agree any more. I couldn't agree more in the case of this disgrace to the Empire. I believe we might have finally reached a conclusion in this trial. Let's hope so. This let's pretend attempt at courtroom proceedings is painful to watch. But I do promise to do my best to forget all about it when it's over. Uh. Huh. 
this sorry looking steak reveals the facts all too clearly. If the sorry looking accused wishes to examine it again, be my guest. Oh, really? Was the plate I saw or thought I saw just a figment of my imagination? And instantly examining it. Check this. This emblem on the side of the plate. Is that a cat? It's a cow, obviously. Most likely because the restaurant's signature dish is beef steak. It seems a lot of different restaurants have their own unique tableware. So this is the symbol of La Carnaval, is it? Interesting. Okay, but what about steak? Steak. Huh? What the? What in the world is this? I think it's a robot boy. And the hallmark is from the hallway area, I believe. <gasps> This is what the frickin' this is what the curio man is missing. Kure Kuta. But why is it under the stake? Wait, he He said he collected frickin' the sergeant. The sergeant. The sergeant's stake. He said he collected it. Did he bring the wrong stake? No no, I don't mean what I don't mean what is it. I mean What's it doing there? Wait, did you say it was a Hoei co Koban? Yes, and apart from the meat juices, it looks to be in good condition. I imagine it's very valuable. Mm, this isn't the first time today there's been talk of a Hoei Koban. I've heard of pearls before swine, but I've never heard of bullion and... Bullion and Bulong. And I don't think you ever will again. This is extraordinary, though. This means... I certainly never expected to find a precious coin underneath this thick cut of meat. And it's from the Hoei area, too. This smooth would make it really quite valuable. It's well marinated. It's well marinated in the juice as well, look. What are you thinking of eating it? No, no, but... The next time I order a steak in an expensive restaurant, one thing's for sure. My heart's gonna be racing as I lift up the meat and peer underneath for a prize. I think you might have the wrong end of the stick about this, Ryunosuke. Kovan coin underneath the steak. There's only one logical explanation. That was some good dialogue. This is it now. I've lost, even though I just found an answer. Ryunosuke, it's not over yet. Not until the final gavel. Hmm? Never stop believing in yourself. Keep looking forward, no matter what. Believe in myself? Really? Hmm. Maybe I should at least examine the evidence for myself. As the evidence requested by the defense has not been shown to be problematic in any way, I presume any further examination of evidence in this trial will be unnecessary. Does the defense have a, any objection? That bloodstain was going to clinch the trial for me. Can this plate of steak re reveal any other clues at all? I'm going to say this just, beca just because... My health isn't showing, so I guess I can get away with it. Oh, I'm really clutching at straws now. That would fly in the face of common sense. You know, it flies in the face of common sense. That someone like you with no experience as a lawyer could last this long in a trial like this. How did you... Opportunities are always there for the taking, but only for those with the determination to grab them. Let's have another good look at the, that stake. If you want to give up, it had better wait until after that. Maybe I should examine the evidence in more detail. Well, a deafening silence from the defense. 
I will take that as your final answer on the matter. Your Excellency, p please wait. This plate of beef is hiding another clue. Another clue that will reveal the shocking truth. The only thing that's shocking here is your unhealthy fascination with beef steak. Your Excellency, I think I've made myself clear, haven't I? I will not be able to turn a blind eye to any more unnecessary procrastination in this trial. I'm sorry, Miss Bread, but we must ensure a thorough examination of the evidence. I will not give a ruin until I'm completely satisfied that all reasonable doubt has been dispelled. I see. As a newly affirmed ally in my country, that's still your position, is it? Thank you, Your Excellency. Counsel for the Defense, you will now clearly show the court to what you are alluding. Where precisely on the stake of beef steak is this new clue to be found? Babu? Uh, yeah, I've already... Yeah, I've already gone over this. Whoopsies. Uh, da da ba ba da ba doop ski ba da boop. All right, let's present it. Got it. Got it. Good, good gracious, that's... Ah. Koba? I can't wait for the frickin' cure old man to run in here out of nowhere. What on earth? A hoa area one... A hoa area one at that. Miss Brett. This... Is in fact the beefsteak that you ordered at the restaurant on the day in question, is it? Tell me, why is there an old coin seemingly hidden underneath the meat? Shut up! <sighs> Tell me to shut up again, I dare you. What a ridiculous question, how should I know? I've never seen that before in my life, I don't know what it is, but I want no part of it. Attention! I fail to see how this is relevant, a coin under the meat. That could simply have been a, mis a careless mistake by the ch- by the chef, the chef, in a moment of distraction. Sorry, this voice makes it so I'm incapable of saying the word chef. I said chef, chef. What is a chef? Objection! Don't be absurd. Stop talking about chefs, for God's sakes. We're supposed to believe that this happened by accident in the kitchen. A rare Hoei Koban just happens to be hidden underneath that piece of steak. What were they planning of, of freaking shredding the coin on, made out of gold on top of it? I've heard of expensive eating, but that's a bit too far, wouldn't it be? This turns out to be irrelevant to the case. I'll rip up my ticket to Great Britain right now. He's right, it can't be a coincidence. Your Excellency. Yost Council. A rare Hoei Koban just happens to be hidden underneath that piece of steak. If this turns out to be irrelevant to the case, I'll give up my lawyer job right now. Attention! By all means, don't let us stop you. No one invited you anyways. <laughs> Everyone is objecting and shutting up and everything else. Perhaps, little boy, you should realize it is you who was irrelevant. Even though I'm the one on trial here? The point is, it's es the point is, it's essential that we ask the owner of this coin if he can explain what it's doing under the stake. The owner? Yes, it's obvious. There's only one person it can belong to. Hold up, hold up. Shit. Oh wait, no, I can't save. I just want to do this for the funnies. I want to see what happens if I get it, if I do it wrong. 
and we've got like over a full page of people now. Uh, clearly it's the sergeant. Take that! Yes, just the sort of person to have a precious cove on like that. No, come on, Ryunosuke. How, you, you shocked me, Kazuma. Not as much as you shocked me. We've already heard about a Kobon in this case. Don't you think perhaps it's the same one? Yeah, of course. I just couldn't quite find the right name. Then consult the court record. Please. Well, seeing as you asked so nicely. There's only one person who can want to. Okay. Never mind. I wasted health for a funny. And it wasn't even very funny. It's you. Take that! Obviously, it can only be the antique stealer and owner of Rasute, Jirio Kure Kurekuda-san. Kiri? As in Mr. Cucum or something? Honestly, these ridiculous Japanese names are quite unfathomable. Oh, yes. The old man who testified earlier alongside the military sergeant earlier, correct? Yes, Your Excellency. I don't know why he said earlier twice, though. I remember him saying that he was that he was up to something with his Koban coin when it happened. At exactly the moment the gun was fired. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Indeed, the whole area cope on my prize coin. But of a Then this whole area cope on. Do you mean to tell me? Attention! No, 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 please. Why would Kur. Kur. Kurekuta sans. Oh, on. Wait, Kurekuta. Wait, what was his name again? Hold up. I think I'm having a breakthrough on a pun. Hyo. Curio. Curio. Kure. Kurekuta. Kurekuta. Curio Collector. Well then, that is a joke I just now realized. <laughs> Damn this series and its puns. First the sergeant, now this. Please, why would Kurekta-san's Koban be sandwiched between the victim's beefsteak and its plate? It makes no sense. Yes! Yes! It doesn't make sense. Which is why I'm asking to bring Kurekta-san's... Okay, I'm just gonna say Kurekuta because <laughs> it's gonna kill me. Which is why I'm asking to bring Kurekuta-san's back to the witness stand so we can ask him. Officer. Bring both witnesses that testified earlier back in here. Without a moment's delay. I was stifling a... I was stifling a... Yawn because I'm so tired. I can't believe we've come back around to that pair again. But I have a hunch. A strong hunch. That if we chase down the real significance of this Koban, we'll find that it's... It's a key element in the case. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, dun, 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 dun. Oh, we got four people at once. We got lots of people here. What's this all about? Why have I been called up again? Don't you realize that it's dim dinner time for little baby Otto? When my son's belly is... He's empty, he's fiercer than a pack of wolves. Exploited by the police, we were like miserable dogs, forced to bear false witness. And when cursed from this courtroom myself, I became a ruined man in a trice. A worthless, withered antique. Yeah, you're certainly weathered and an antique. Nothing more have I to say. The sun is set on this Rasuteo shop owner's existence. Do that as it may, Corey. 
Kure Kuta-san. Something has come to light that requires your clarification. As far as your Rasute memory serves, have you ever seen this cobalt? Wow! That's... Yes, that's it! That's the one! That's the very one! The very exact one that it is! You stabbed the sergeant in the foot. I'm just saying. Your knife is currently stabbed through his boot. I hope he has flexible feet. It was splendid, splendid feet. Oh, I treasure that my rusty bones managed to misplace that fateful day. It can't be. Hmm, as I thought. Young man, enlighten this decrepit old fool. Oh, put me out of my misery. Where, where was my treasure? Where was it dropped? Oh, um, I'm not sure if it was dropped anywhere. You found your coin sandwich between a beefsteak and its plate, soaking in the seasoned and meat's juices. Sandwich? Soaking? Seriously? Clearly, it couldn't have fallen there by accident. Which means... Somebody must have hidden it in there, on purpose. Somebody concealed my holy treasure between a slab of meat and a metal plate. Who would do such a thing? Such an unconscionable thing. They're all just like, well, I would have done it. That, that could give me a lot of money. Excuse me. Could I say something? Yes, of course. Proceed, Inspector Hosonaga. I mentioned this earlier on in the trial, but... I was working undercover in the restaurant in order to investigate another case. Ah yes, that's right. The secret undercover operation. La Carnival is a high-class Western cuisine restaurant. It attracts wealthy diners, including many foreigners. Recently, there's been a run of similarly executed thefts targeting the restaurant's rich clientele. A number of such incidents have been reported to the police bureau. Why's the sergeant, like, sweating over there? Hmm, wicked crimes indeed. We wanted to nip the case in the bud quickly, especially with so many foreigners being affected. So that's why you were sent in undercover, is it? Yes, I took on the job of waiter at the restaurant in order to flush out the criminal. It seems likely that this Koban incident is the work of the same thief. Hmm, so unbeknownst to us, there was a master thief at work in the restaurant on a regular basis. place was already the scene of several climb climbs. What, what are we climbing? A rock wall here? Several crimes, it seems. I don't know about the master thief part, but... The identity of the person who stole and hid Kurakuta's son's Koban is all too clear. What? What? I think the court would like to hear the defense's view on this matter. Tell us, who is the despicable scoundrel that stole Kure Kuta-san's Koban and hid it under the stake? Clearly, it was Susato. No. 23, 42, 52, 47. I'm just checking the ages out of curiosity, people. It was you. You stole your own coin! No. Obviously, it can only be you. Sergeant E.S. Anosa? What? How? How dare you, 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 you monster? Monster? I stole that Koban, did I? I'm the master thief of La of Carnival, am I? You're seriously accusing me of these crimes, cadet? But it wasn't me, it was Idol. Ido is the mastermind behind all this. You're saying your baby 
is a master thief. Yeah, sure, bro. Ugh. Eh. Oh. You would push the blame for your crimes onto your own son, an innocent little baby. It's you who's the monster, Sergeant Nosa. Breakdown? Oh, my man's back just break. Nepal Imperial Army, Sergeant Yesenosa, preparing to stand down in in the Supreme Court, sir. Well, it's the first breakdown I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> I think his I think his mustache actually changed because of that. Do any of you know the extraordinary low wages in the Nepal and Imperial Army pay Pays though as it expects to keep our country safe. I understand that the temporary increases in taxation owing to a recent ended conflicts remain in remains to the recently ended conflicts remains in peak place. And I have heard it's hard for lower ranking soldiers to make a living, yes. All I want is to put a hot meat on meal on the table for my son. That's why you were stealing things at the restaurant. The place is heaving with money. Every three days I'd go there and do rent reconnaissance for a target. And I'd enjoy chomping my way through a good steak at the same time. Sounds like he doesn't bother with a knife and a fork even, which is worryingly believable. And your target that day was the old man in his cobalt. Yes, sir. He was an easy mark. I slipped a coin into my pocket without any trouble at all. Uh, a very... A veritable phantom thief you are. I almost forgot my voice. I was all set to leave the steak I was halfway through devouring when it happened. Yes, when the professor was shot. I knew that if the police conducted a search and found the coin in my pocket, I'd be finished. I'd owe too. So I hid the incriminating evidence as fast as I could, on the double. I slipped it under the steak. Hoping that I'd be able to rendezvous with it again at a later date. This is ridiculous. Perhaps you could carry on with this absurd prattling in your own time. Well, Miss Brett. Oh, of course, dear lady, of course. How rude of us. I'm quite sure there's no need to detain you any longer at all. May the esteemed gentlewoman please be excused, your excellency. Yeah, no, we just discovered that the stake in question isn't Miss Brett's. Hmm, indeed. The theft of the Koban was clearly perpetrated by this baby saddled sergeant it would certainly appear to be unrelated to dr. Wilson's murder of course it is hiding a coin under a lump of meat the sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me N nonsense is it um well oof and as for picking up your state and biting into it without using a knife and fork, it's beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Very well. Now that, now that all questions concerning this witness testimony have been answered, 
I see no further justification for detaining her. Miss Brett, you are free to leave. Thank you, Your Excellency. Good luck, everyone. And good day. You know, because it's like, does she really think she's getting away with this right now? Because she ain't. Rinosuke, what's the matter with you? This is no time for daydreaming. Oh, no, no, it's just... Something about Miss Brett's parting words there got me thinking. Can't quite work out what exactly, but something she said jarred with me. I feel like there was a contradiction in there somewhere. Something that didn't quite add up. If that's the case, don't just stand there thinking. Make your voice heard. How do you keep reading my head, man? Don't think about it. Sorry? You can think later, but if you don't call out now, it'll be too late. The trial will be over. Hold it! Wait, Miss Brett! What is it now? I'm afraid, just one last time. There's something I'd like to ask you. I'd like you to explain the contradiction in your parting words from just a few moments ago. What are you talking about? What contradiction? Objection! What new student nonsense is this? Well, what parting words are you talking about, Ryanosuke? Hell if I know. I'm just going where the plot takes me. Hiding a coin under a lump of meat. The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. And as for picking up your steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork, it's beyond nonsense, it's pure madness. Oh. Yes, I'm right. What she said there exposed an undeni undeniable contradiction. Right. Yeah, look at the shape of... Look at the shape of it. That's definitely... That's definitely... Here. The, those are like bite marks. Those aren't. It wasn't like cut with a knife and fork. It's too jagged. It admits Brett's words truly are contradictory. Where is the evidence to prove it? Baboon. Photographic prints of the scene take it after, immediately after the incident occurred. What's interesting is the plate of steak that you can see on the victim's table. The steak that Miss Brett had been eating before the professor was killed, yes. Go on. More accurately, Your Excellency. The steak that was on the victim's table just before the professor was killed. Now you're just splitting... Now you're just splitting hairs! Not true. Doesn't something about the steak strike you as very unnatural? Unnatural? What on earth do you mean? It's extremely obvious. I'm talking about the shape of the edge where it's been eaten. I see you've noticed it too, Miss Brett. Notice what exactly, Council? Just a few moments ago, Miss Brett claimed no Englishman could even contemplate picking up a steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork. Of course she did. She's a refined English gentlewoman herself. Take a good look at this steak. In particular, the Edgeworth's been eaten. As you can see, there are clearly defined barbaric teeth marks there. Ah! Oh! Wait, was I mistaken? Oh! Was I mistaken? No, this one looks the same. Maybe she switched the plates? Maybe the one in here is the one we that we have. But the plates got switched, maybe. I don't know. It looks like Miss Brett has realized something. So, if the witness, as she claims, wouldn't contemplate eating anything without using a knife and fork, there shouldn't be teeth marks in the steak at all. Oh, 
shit. Things get real up in here. Oh, we're gonna get into this. Next time that is. Because we're at the we're at the usual mark here. And I feel like considering that this is case one, case one is usually I think we're getting close to the to the end of the road here, so next episode might be the last one, who knows, for this case at least. So yeah, until next time, adios, ciao, and signing off. Until next time, ja, matane.